What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here tonight. We're going to be cooking honey barbecue wings on the Blackstone. Let's do it. All right, real quick, we've got some crinkle cut frozen french fries, two pounds worth. We've got about 17, 18 chicken wings, which we're going to season up with some grill mates barbecue seasoning. And then we've got some pre-mixture uh, garlic, salt, pepper, and paprika for the french fries. As usual, we're going to put down some oil, uh, turn up the heat a little bit on this black stone to about medium high. We're going to spread out that oil nice and evenly. And we're going to drop our potatoes down. So just like usual, we're going to move these around a little bit. And we're going to, um, once we get them spread out and moved around, remember these are frozen. They're not like the regular potatoes. So we just got to heat them up until they loosen up a little bit. And then we'll season them. You don't want to season them when they're frozen because it's not going to stick to anything. So we're just going to kind of move them in a big group here and try to get them covered with the, uh, the dome. And uh, we're going to put some water down for some steam and put the dome. And I don't see it fitting, so I'm going to scoop and raise it, maximize our height here. <laughs> and we will get it covered with some water. water down and let's see if the cover fits there we go yep just barely fits love it so after about three or four minutes you want to check them just to make sure they're not burning on the bottom they should not be at this point but we'll just check them you can see they're starting to get some color that's why you want to stir them around um, so they cook nice and evenly it's going to be the same process for about two or three times. You're going to stir them around, uh, spread them out, recover them, re-steam them, and um, here we're going to season them because they've loosened up. So we put down our pre-seasoning of salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika, and then we're going to go ahead and steam them and cover them again. So we finish up the seasoning. I'm going to stir them up again a little bit, get the seasoning nice and mixed in there. Put them back in our nice little pile and again the same process. Uh, we're just going to put some more water around the outside. You don't want to put water on top of the potatoes, just on the outside. You don't want them soggy. So. That's it. You cover them with the dome, and we'll check back in another two or three minutes. Another couple minutes up, and they are looking good. So, same process. Stir them up. You can see the color starting to come through there. A little bit of char on some of them. The seasoning starting to mix in as well. And at this point, uh, I decided I don't think we need to steam them anymore. Now, at this point, we're just going to kind of um, spread them out. Uh, we'll steam them as well, but we don't need to. We don't need them all bunched up. Now we kind of need the bottoms browned everywhere instead of just a smaller portion. So we decided to spread out, stir them up, and then again, water out on the outside, a little bit of steam, and we'll cover them for a couple more minutes. All right, this is what you want them to look like. We're about 10 minutes in. We've mixed them up, flipped them around, rubbed them up, and you know what else, and they are looking good. That's what you want your potato french fries, crinkle cut french fries to look like. You can see they have a nice crispy exterior. They're nice and seasoned, and they are ready to come off the griddle.
chicken wing time. We put down some more oil after we clean up the griddle a little bit. And we are going to dump these down. They've been marinating with that um, barbecue rub for about 24 hours. No need for that. A good hour is fine. Two is even better. Um, you want to spread them out, get them lined up. But I like to get them lined up. You can do them however you want them, but that's how I like to cook them. So they try to be as even as possible. Uh, so you just kind of look at them and picture, okay, three lines of whatever. That looks good to me. So we get them down, get them spread out all in the oil, and check them, and they're ready to cook. So the lid was down for a couple minutes, three or four minutes, I'd say. And then you want to turn them. Uh, you can see these things, uh, they get dark quick. And especially with that barbecue rub, that will burn. As you can see, a couple of them got a little bit too dark, which is fine. We're going to cut these with the barbecue sauce. We're going to um, coat these with the barbecue sauce. And you won't even see that. And they're just going to look like, to be honest with you, they're going to look like grill marks. So um, no problem. We just move them over so they don't... It doesn't happen again. It's obviously a hot spot over there. So we move them over a little bit, spread them around, and we will cover them again, the, cover the lid, and we'll cook them for another two or three minutes and, and check them again. Time to mix up our barbecue sauce. So pick your favorite barbecue sauce. I like Sticky Fingers, it's very good. Uh, I'll put the name of, of this particular one as well as the amounts in the description, but it's basically two to one. Uh, two part barbecue sauce, one part honey. This is about a half a cup of barbecue sauce and I'm putting in about a, a quarter of a cup of um, some honey. This is raw honey. You can use any kind of honey you want just going to give it that flavor this is more like a molasses so it gives it a nice sticky along with the sticky fingers barbecue it's going to make it really sticky for the, the actual sauce once you get it in there you want to mix it really good with a spoon I add it right to the same bowl shallow bowl that I'm going to be mixing uh, the wings with or in I'm sorry and um, and that's it you mix it really good and and next step is to put these wings in there So we lowered the heat to low and just going to check the wings to make sure they don't burn again like they did on the initial turn. You can see those two at the top left. Uh, and we're just going to keep keep cooking them. I checked the internal temperature. You want them to be about 165. They are not quite there yet, so we're going to give them a few more minutes. All right. Wings are just about done. Um, I flipped them three or four times at about three to four minutes in between each turn. You can see they're nice and charred on the outside. They look like grill marks. Um, I did use my internal uh, thermometer to check the temperature. They, you want to be uh, 165, as close as you can to it. They will continue to cook a little bit once you get them off, but make sure you're safe. Get them at 165. And then uh, that's it. Total time was about 15 to 20 minutes. I don't remember exactly, but uh, the internal thermometers are pretty uh, pretty cheap, and you can pick them up for uh, not much. So that's it. We put them into our our sauce, and we just give them a couple stirs and mix them up. And you can see that honey glaze barbecue sauce looking righteous. Wee! All right, so we got our honey barbecue wings and some crinkle cut french fries just in time for Memorial Day weekend. 
So barbecue on the Blackstone, they look delicious. Just to recap a little bit, our crinkle cut fries, we used uh, just a blend of paprika, salt, pepper, garlic. And then for our wings, real simple. We use that barbecue rub from McCormick's, which tastes uh, awesome. And then on top of that, we use some, uh, some barbecue sauce, use whatever kind you want, and some honey. And I'll put the amounts in the, the description below. And I cannot wait to dig in, so let's dig in. Let's start with this big fat boy right here on the end. Oh my God, it's still hot. Hmm, ready? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Sorry. This is not easy. <laughs> Let me get some napkins here. That tastes amazing. The honey glaze with the barbecue sauce. That tastes really good. So I'm not a sweet guy, but I like that. All right, let me taste some fries. Crinkle cut with all the spices. Muy delicioso. So for your Memorial Day weekend, you wanna try something different. You got some wings with some barbecue sauce and some honey and the french fries, check it out, give it a try. Thank you everybody for watching. Keep on subscribing, liking, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out.